Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, today I am going to be showing you how to uh, create with these cute beads that I got from BB Crafts. They came in um, a pack of all different colors. These are just some of them, but they're so sweet because they have snowflakes on them. And I really like uh, using these for tassels and that sort of thing. So um, I made a couple of tassels and I wanted to show you and then I thought I could show you how to make one together. So let me show you the ones I made. This one is uh, with traditional Christmassy colors. I've shown you guys how to make tassels before on my channel but um, this one is a little bit different so I figured I'd make an updated video and I used some gold wood beads that I had in my stash but the highlight is definitely these snowflake beads. Um, I added a charm up on top of a little Christmas bulb. I used some gold metallic um, crochet yarn that I got from Hobby Lobby. And this is actually a um, charm that I got from BB Craft as well that I will link these down below in addition to the snowflake beads. So um, I put a lobster claw clasp on the top so that it could be used on like planners or even just on your purse. Just a fun little accent for um, Christmas time. So that's my first one. And the next one I made, I made in more wintry colors, not necessarily Christmas. I really like how the blue and silver look together. Um, and I added some silver... Um, wooden beads, um, a natural color bead, and these two snowflake charms are also from BB Craft, which I will link below. They came in a pack of uh, uh, a ton of different silver, like wintry, Christmassy uh, charms. And this one I used some silver crochet thread. I gotta trim that a little bit better, but um, I used silver hardware on this one as well. And I just, I love the colors of this. It's just nice and cool, good for winter. So, um, yeah, so those are the two I made. And I thought maybe we could do like a pastel one together. Um, I picked these two shades of pink out that I got in my pack of uh, snowflake beads. And there's like a, kind of like a, um, I don't know, brighter pink and then a pastel pink. So I thought we'd use those. And then I got a couple of other wood beads out that I had in my stash, just some coordinating colors. And I thought silver would look nice with this. So I'm gonna use some silver hardware. And I have this pink crochet thread that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. So we will um, use that. So I'm gonna zoom out and reposition and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. So first what you want to do is get something to wrap your crochet thread around. I always use this pack of Velcro I have. I don't know why. It's just like, I guess, a good um, width. It's about three inches or so. So uh, very, very simple. Just take your thread, yarn, whatever you're going to use. Just uh, start to, or just, you know, hold it on the end of your... Um, whatever you're wrapping it on, just like a credit card or a piece of cardboard or something. I just happen to have this handy, so I always use this. So just hold it on and then just start wrapping around. And I usually wrap it around about 50 times. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I can't really talk and count at the same time, so <laughs> bear with me. That's about 30. It doesn't have to be exact, but I figure 50 is, it's usually like a good thickness for me. And I totally lost count, so <laughs> I'll stop about there. Maybe a little bit more. It doesn't hurt to make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so it's about like that. And then what you're going to do is just cut it off at the edge. And then take your thread again and just, I just feed it underneath. So it's just under all of your thread. 
Okay, and just cut off like a, a pretty good size length because you're going to use this to thread all your beads. Okay, and then just tie a knot, Oops, sorry, like right in the middle there. And then you're going to make it a double knot. And hold it pretty tight when you do that, just so it's nice and secure. Okay, so it's going to look like this. And then I just kind of fold this and take it off. So what you have now is just big thing of the loops. All right, so people do this different ways. This is the way I do it. I just smooth it out and hold it down, get my thread again, and then just cut off, I don't know, maybe like, 14 inches or so and then just put your tassel on top of it let me get in frame a little bit and then I'm just going to tie a knot around the whole thing on like the top third it's a little hard to do through the camera lens but show you guys just bear with me a second here okay so it looks like that okay and then I double that just to keep it secure and you can do this with a coordinating color if you want I just usually like to use the same color as the tassel okay so you have it doubled and then just to make it a little bit thicker looking like oops there go my beads like this you take each end of what you just tied and then just like wind it around so here's one end oops sorry guys okay one two three about three or four times so that was one and then I'll do the other one the other way one, two, three, four. Okay, so then it looks like that. And then you're just going to tie that again, again to secure it. Lots of times I use pre-made tassels at the end of my like planner clips but I like to make my own sometimes that way you can customize exactly the color and the length and these are always like I don't know they seem to come out better than ones that you pre-buy okay so now you have this uh extra length you can just cut it off but I don't like the way it looks just kind of like sticking out of the side there so what I do is I thread it through a needle and feed it back through the tassel so let me cut that off so it's even. So we have two even ends. And then you're going to take a, where's my needle? A nice long needle. Okay, like this one. This is a doll needle that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it has a nice big eye and it's super long. It's excellent, excellent for beading. So let me just thread this one second. Okay, so I threaded the needle. So what I like to do is just go back behind the um, tie that we just made and then just pull it down, just like that. So now it's behind there like everything else, okay? So we have the two ties on the top and then this is what the bottom looks like. So you wanna trim this so it looks like a tassel Take your nice fabric scissors or sharp scissors and you can cut through the loops. So everything is cut apart. And then I just hold it down at the bottom because it's kind of messy right now. And then just even it up. Ta-da! There you have your tassel. And you have this big long string on the top. So this is what we're going to use to thread all the beads. So go ahead and take your 
um, needle again. Let me just, just trim up the ends so they're nice and even. Okay, and then thread your big doll needle with both of the ends of the yarn. So you have it like that. And now you're going to start stringing your beads. This is the fun part, I think. So I'm gonna start with, let's start with the lighter pink one. And just pull out your thread so it looks like that. And then I'm gonna put the little wood beads in between. So we'll start with the dark pink. And the dark pink thread, or dark pink, the dark pink bead and the other wooden beads I got from somewhere else, they were in my stash. Let's start with the white. Oops. And that happens. Our needle comes unthreaded. Just go ahead and thread it again. Okay. Then we'll pick the light pink bead. And we're going to end with this one. I like to end with these because they have a little bit smaller hole than the wooden beads. So you don't want a huge hole at the end. Okay, so that's what our tassel looks like. Oh, it looks like I skipped a... Or is that the one that we pulled through? I'll pull that through after. Okay, so we have that, and I'm just going to go get a jump ring, and I will be right back. Okay, I got out this pack of colored, colored jump rings that I had gotten from BB Crafts a while ago, and I thought these would be fun to use for this project. Um, I think I will pick this pink, pinky color one. And they're already open, so easy to use. Maybe I'll use the brighter pink. Yeah, I think that would be fun. Okay. So you take your jump ring and just close it up. So I'm going to... Uh, these are pretty flexible, so you probably don't even need pliers, but I'm going to use my pliers just to keep them a nice shape. Okay, so just close it up. Okay. And now you're going to take your threaded needle that was still threaded from before and just go through the jump ring. Pull out the yarn. So now you have the jump ring on the top. I've shown this before in, other, in another tutorial, but uh, we'll, we'll do it for this one as well. Okay, so now go around the jump ring and back in through the hole. And you're going to go all the way through all the different beads. This is where the big needle comes in handy. Okay, and then just come out the bottom. And if you have a hard time pulling it through, just take your pliers and pull it. Okay. And you want to make sure you pull the end of the threads out. Just find which one is the end. There we go. Okay, so now it looks like this. And then you're going to go on through the tassel to the other side with your needle that's still threaded. Come out the other end. So now it's really securing the tassel, okay? And then you're going to go back up through the beads up to the top. So going all the way through again. Oops, my jump ring came off. All right, let me fix that. Okay, thanks, sorry, I had just had to fix that jump ring, make it a little bit more secure. Okay, so let's continue. We'll pull our needle all the way through and pull the thread out, the end of the thread. Okay, so this is where we are right now looking good. Now you're going to thread or go down through the jump ring one more time. But first, before we do that, you got to tie a knot just to make it a little bit more secure. So take your needle off. And what I like to do is take one end of the thread and feed it through the other side of the jump ring. So you have one thread on each side. Okay. So you have one end on each in the end of the jump ring. Just tie a knot, just a regular knot. And then you're going to take the two ends, go back through your 
needle. I have two needles here. One has a bigger eye than the other, but um, we will start with this one. Hopefully I could get it threaded easily. Okay, sorry about that. I had to um, thread it again, and then you're going to go back through the hole and pull it all the way through. Now, I made my yarn or my thread a little bit short, so this is hasn't been the easiest one to do, but usually if you make it long enough, then it'll just easily go th all the way through again. I don't think mine will come out. It might just stop inside, but um, the point is you want to pull it out the bottom and then trim it. But mine is very short, so it just kind of pulled out like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to trim the ends close to the last bead, and you're done. So it's nice and tight. It's not going to come apart. You have your jump ring at the top that's nicely threaded on, and your tassel. I really like these pink colors. I think that looks so nice. All right, so now we're going to, we're going to add the finishing touches. So we will get a lobster claw clasp. Did I have one out? Let's see. I have a gold one out, but I think we're going to use silver. So yeah, I'll just grab a silver one. Oh, there one is. Okay. So I have a silver lobster claw clasp. And we have this. Maybe we'll, you, you want to add another jump ring. Don't just put it down to this one. Um, I think I will use the same color. It's fun to try different colors or just use, you know, like a base metal, like, you know, silver, or gold, whatever. But these are really fun to use, I think. Okay, so you're going to take your lobster clasp or lobster claw clasp, feed it onto the end of your jump ring, and then put the jump ring on the other jump ring. Now these are pre-open, so I didn't have to open them. You want to squeeze it tight with your jewelry pliers. Now again, these are not like super tough to work with, so you can probably just use your fingers to do this one, but I don't even think I'm focused here, am I? No. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's just squeeze that together. So now we have our lobster claw clasp, so we can use that to put on our planner. If you want to dress it up with some charms, which of course I would like to do, let's do that. I have, let's see, this big pack. Well, these are the ones that I got from um, BB Crafts. These silver ones in all three sections, they came in one big pack, which is great because there's a huge variety in there. So let's see, maybe we'll use this reindeer, which is super cute. And I'll show you how to add it like to the tassel itself. Just take one of your jump rings and then just feed it behind, let me open it a little bit more. Just feed it behind the part that you wound around a bunch. So it looks like that. And then you can put your charm on it. and then close it up. I'll just use my fingers to do that. And then you probably just want to put like the, the um, part that was opened, just swing it around the back. So yeah, so we have that. And you can add one to the top, which I like to do as well. I'm going to use another pink jump ring. And this time maybe we'll use a poinsettia, which I think is really pretty. Kind of goes with the pink kind of flowery feminine theme of this one. So this one I'm going to add to that top jump ring easily. Just hook it on and then bend it into place. Ta-da! Oh, I love this one. I think this one's my favorite. So I just think those snowflake beads just add so much, right? And the texture on the wood beads, I like that too. So we have the pink one. Let me move these guys out of the way so you can see better. Okay. 
there's the pink one, the silver and blue one, and then the traditional one. Cute, right? So I hope you like my tutorial. Um, I will leave links down below to the products from BB Crafts. Thanks again, BB Crafts, for sending me these items. I had such fun creating with them. I have another design team project coming up soon, so um, make sure you're, you're subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and I will uh, be sure to be back soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.